Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about how to mix and match sheet masks. So I have combination skin. I break out a lot around my chin and around my mouth because of hormones, but I still want the lifting and the plumping for the top half of my face. And I find that the acne sheet masks sometimes can be a little harsh where I want the plumping and the revitalizing. and the moisturizing masks can be a little intense around my chin where I'm prone to breakouts. And so what I'm going to show you is how to do a combination sheet mask using different products. I have a clean face right now. I guess I washed it with my normal cleanser. And I'm going to start by toning my skin. And this is the first step where I like to do kind of a combination. There's soothing face mist. And this is a rose mist. It helps to balance your face. And I like to use this on the bottom half of my face. The plumping, hydrating, hyaluronic based spray toner for the top half of my face. So I just kind of cover like this. Serum, which I find kind of boosts the effectiveness of the sheet mask because the same way that the sheet is trapping the serum that comes in the mask, it's also increasing the effectiveness of any kind of light serums that you put on. The trick is you want them to be really thin. I'm using the Glossier Super Pure, which is a niacinamide and zinc serum, it's very thin and light. And I just take the dropper and I'm gonna apply a couple of drops to the part of my face that is kind of inflamed and red. I've got a little bugger right there. But this product is sold out right now. A nice dupe, which is this one, The Ordinary. Niacinamide 10% zinc, 1%. It's a little bit thicker in consistency than the Super Pure, but I find that it works just as well. It doesn't feel as nice, it doesn't have as nice of a smell, but it's also much cheaper. Vitamin C serum, and I'm gonna put it on my cheeks and on my forehead, where I kind of want that glow. I'm really into this Sub-Q Anti-Age Serum, also from Hyalamine. So now my skin is prepped for the new sheet masks. Start with this golden lifting mask. I've got my scissors and I'm just going to open up the mask and I like to open it with a pair of scissors because I will actually reuse the masks if there are extra serum. I have a post about this also. So I'm going to kind of squeeze the package while I pull the mask out to get the extra serum off so that I can do a second round of this. This mask actually comes in two different pieces which is kind of where I got this idea from. Then, I'm gonna take this bottom piece, one that's designed for around the mouth, and I'm actually gonna use it on my neck because I'm battling the texting neck. I have the Witch Hazel Pore Mask, and this one I'm gonna put here where I have the problems with the acne and the breaking out. Just unpeel it carefully, like so. So after 25 minutes are up, I'm just going to take off these mask pieces. After the extra serum is all rubbed in, I like to go in and do a treatment with my new face and some rose soothing gel or aller gel. The microcurrent is great for lifting and contouring, but it actually helps the absorption of serums as well. So it can increase the effectiveness of all that good stuff I just put on my face. And then I'm going to finish with a prescription moisturizer for my chin that my dermatologist recommended, and a super heavy duty moisturizer for the top half of my face to lock in this awesome glow. And that's it. That's how you multi-mask. 